Hey doing guys, good morning, it's LSP, it's currently the 25th of May 2022. So before I get into Bitcoin and, and the usual analysis that we do, somebody DM'd me uh, yesterday asking why I keep doing videos on Bitcoin when it's not really moving and so on. Um, and one of the things that is really, really important is that we stay on top of price. This is something that a lot of investors fail to realize, and this is what I believe to be, you know, um, at least high up there, one of the reasons why people fail, you know, to see the moves before they happen, because they're not really paying attention. The whole point of these kind of market updates um, is to really emphasize the movement of price and then be here when we get confirmation that something is about to happen. If we're not continually watching Bitcoin, you know, it's not enough to just sit down at the end of each day. If you're a swing trader or a position trader, fine, whatever, but we're not. We're trying to find that moment where we can say we feel comfortable and confident that this is going to happen. Because we're doing the analysis every day, every morning, and sometimes, you know, in the afternoon as well after US equities open, it gives us a much better indication. You know, for example, we know, having done this now for X amount of time, that Binance is on its own page at the moment. We can clearly, clearly see this. Had we not have been paying attention and watching this consolidation as it was unfolding on Binance, this move wouldn't really matter to us. We wouldn't understand it. We wouldn't have felt it as it was going up. We wouldn't have seen this kind of decoupling from Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been going sideways, 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 and Binance is slowly starting to grind to the upside, right? So we need to be on top of price all the time. It's not enough, like I said, to just look at the end of each day or, you know, just haphazardly glance at, you know, at Bitcoin or the general market every now and then. We're like, we're professionals. We do this every day. We sit down, we look at the markets, we monitor, we make sure. So as soon as we get confirmation, the second it happens, we're, we're, we're on it. We know, okay, now this has happened. We need to start formulating ideas of, you know, of where price could potentially be reaching for, where's the liquidity pool, where's the imbalance and so on, right? So with, um, with that said, let's, just quickly go to the daily chart. We know what's on the left, so we'll just kind of zoom in a little bit. And we can see this consolidation is continuing. There is liquidity below. There is imbalances and liquidity above. The key levels are obviously 32, 33, all the way up to sort of 38,000. You know, until we see some movement to the upside on Bitcoin, it's very difficult, you know, to ascertain which way this is going to go. Is it going to bleed lower? Is it going to go higher? We don't know yet. But like I said, the more we stay on top of this, predominantly on the four hour chart, the easier it's going to be for us to make, you know, to, to, to see it when it happens. So going over to Binance, you can see that Binance is on its own page at the moment. It did try to drop a little bit here after that first initial run up, and then it's just gone up a little bit higher. I believe the high was 337.52. I mean, that's, 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 that's fantastic. This is what we want to see. And it is looking like it's going to draw a little bit higher as well, 340, 350, potentially 360. If it goes full 360, right, and gets to the top end of this liquidity, this is a, a good, this is going to be a very good indication as to what Binance actually wants to do. I would prefer it grinds up here and not accelerate into this level. If it starts to accelerate into this level, it just it, it could potentially mean that it's reaching into the sell side uh, liquidity to just kind of fall back into this you know consolidation and then you know, um, uh, catch Bitcoin up effectively to where Bitcoin is currently, right? So the other thing as well, you'll notice, I don't really talk about news that much. I don't talk about, you know, some of the other things that are happening predominantly because everything that we need to see is on the chart. Some people simply do not understand this. You know, I have a lot of conversations and debates with people about, do we really need the news? It's important. I'm not saying that the news isn't important. It's, it's important to get a broader idea of what's going on in the world, the cryptocurrency markets, in the financial markets globally and so on. And, and I do keep a track of these things. But when it comes to actual price and what's happening in that moment, we don't we don't need the news. Yeah. If I read something now that says Bitcoin is being massively accumulated, I've watched in the last seven days 13 videos, and every single video's title contained contained Bitcoin, the word Bitcoin and the word explosion, right? To the upside. I mean this is not exploding to the upside. I know they're making a reference to this could potentially be coming, but we want to see the small nuances that give us, you know, confidence that that is that 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 is going to happen. Not that it may happen. Not that some headlines said it's going to happen. You know, not that 
all of this supposed money that's coming into but you know bitcoin is going to make it happen it hasn't happened yet and we we're not seeing any indication that that is indeed the case if anything on the hourly you can see that this is creating a very clean consolidation and to be to be fair this high right here okay that takes out this this high over here and then you can see that they're practically equal you can see that they're practically equal on the downside there's been no real attempt to run for lower level liquidity which isn't a good thing that's not a good thing because that means that if it does want to snap down it's going to find it so much easier to go lower to 28,000 for example to take out all of this and dip into this liquidity than it would be for it to drive to the upside okay so these are all the things that we that we need to keep an eye on these are all the things that we need to pay attention to we watch it every day if there's something else of interest you know I'll, I'll make a note of it but right now the two key things that we need to be paying attention to is that bitcoin is consolidating very cleanly all right and binance is, is is on its own page a little okay so the more we monitor this on a daily basis and throughout the day as well the easier it's going to be you know for us to be able to pinpoint that small nuance and that very subtle confirmation that we're going to get movement one way or the other all right so we're going to be keeping an eye on things okay um, nothing's really changed in terms of the overall general market at the moment um i still feel that bitcoin does have the potential to go lower um and at this point it also has the potential to go higher but i'm still leaning i'm still leaning you know more towards the low you know to low end um you know than the upside uh, and with that said binance is doing well uh, I, this is good i want to i want to see this continue obviously it helps us um, you know, being predominantly on the Binance Smart Chain, uh, and we'll see how we get on. All right, I'm going to be monitoring the markets. You know, during market open at US equities, we'll see if that you know creates any issues. Don't forget, we've got options expiration uh, in a couple of days. It's Friday, um, so that should cause some volatility, uh, and we'll kind of see how that goes. But we'll monitor that as well, uh, and then on the day, I'll probably do a a, a live uh, session if I can get round to it, and we'll kind of see uh, 4 p.m. UTC, I believe it is. So with that said, guys, I hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next update. All the best, take care, and ciao.